hi guys i am back with a new video today uh, so today's video is very very important in, in this series so today i will try to like uh, uh, load the page from database and uh, whenever we change anything in our content then it will be save on our server okay so let's get started this is our application which we have built till now so let's see what we have here Local host and zero eight five. Okay, so if you remember, so this is what we have created in our last session. Okay, and uh, I have deleted some of the duplicate uh, pages page from the list. Okay, so for right now we have a two page. Okay, and so so let try to integrate the configuration which we'll uh, use uh, to save our HTML content to our server. So this is our project code. So, uh, so let open our configuration where configuration file for Grips. Yes. So I'm just minimizing all of these settings so that we can focus on uh, a specific thing. Okay. So below to block manager, I'm just uh, going to write the code before moving there. Uh, let's see what is the URL which we are getting here. Okay, so if you uh, see, we are we have to modify the link to open our editor URL so that our editor will be come and we can able, we will be able to change the content. Okay, so first of all, uh, in view we have home.hps. Let me just save it. And yes, we have to change. Uh, the URL editor says, and hopefully, this should this will change the URL. Let me just refresh the page. Yes, you can see we have this editor says URL. So, let me open this page. Yeah, so this is our uh, editor which is coming right just here. Okay, uh, there's some issue with the internet, that's why we are. Uh, I'm not getting the icons. I'm going to refresh the page so that it will load. It should load. I can, yes, yes, we can see icons here. Yeah. So now we have to add configuration in our main.js file. Uh, it will be the setting uh, to save the content to our server whenever we change in the HTML content. Okay. So first of all, we have to write a storage manager. A storage manager and we have to give the configuration here so first configuration is type remote uh, we are going to uh, tell this grip grip CS, uh, so that we are going to save our uh, HTML content on the server it should not save it on the local so by default uh, behavior is to saving it on the local storage but we have changes to remote after that the next configuration is, is steps uh, before save it is also uh, required you can configure it whatever you want so the idea is like we want to save or we want to send the request on the server whenever we have done some activities so the total number of activity currently I am going to use is three so like whenever we do any activity three activities then it will send a request to the server after that the next configuration is uh, what Type we are going to use so by default I'm going to use content type JSON I'm going to store all the setting in the all the configuration in sorry all the content in uh, JSON format after that what you want to store so I want to store components compo and EMTS component so that whenever we reload the application then we should automatically detect the store component then it will be very easy to identify the traits and other configuration other things related to that so store components true and we also want to store styles store styles true and we are also going to store HTML true and again store CSS this will also be a true Okay, so yeah, mm -hmm. 
uh, yes so now i'm going to use id give id id is not important uh, if you not give the id then it will save the setting by the js hyphen but if you want it to customize then i am going to customize this to let's suppose i'm going to use my and after that i'm going to use url where i'm going to store so this will be a slash uh, we have a pages route in our from our last uh, from our part 8 section and after that this will be an id uh, where we want we are going to store um, uh, id of the page actually so i'm going to get the id from location location dot path name dot i'm going to split it by slash and our id will be the slash will be pages sorry the slash editor slash id and that means our second index will be the our page id i'm going to just replicate this one and add comma here save it and i am just going to change the key instead of url store it should be a url load like from where we are going to load the content page content okay and mm -hmm. and whenever if you want to give some any extra uh, properties while well sending in the header while well sending the request then we also have a header sections uh, which we can use and set the content type and this will application says json okay. is all our configuration so if you want if you want to see we can check it on the server let me just open the network tab uh, so that we can see the request which has been sent to the server so i have selected this xhr it will only it will filter the only the request part so i'm just going to perform some activity here okay so here you can see when we refresh the page so this is what we get the response we didn't get any response mm -hmm. i'm just going to add content because if we remember if we remember we have a, a route to save change content yes we have a content so i am just going to add content and same here as content once we are not getting any proper response for right now uh, so we will fix it shortly and 404 page not found okay it means we have to write okay so it's sending the get request let me see uh, we have a post but we do not have any get request so let me just create one more setting here uh, more one more route and this will be a get call and instead of change content i should call it load load content and now i'm going to just create uh, one more collection in our page controller.js page controller in the bottom of the page and just add export const s y n c sync and we have request we have a response and then we have a const page id and this will be from params params Okay. and finally we have to get the content first of all we have to find the page page data and this for the for this we can use this section here page details and after that we only have to return uh, the content part of the page page data dot content okay and let me also set a header here
just to make sure now uh, i have to check uh, what is the implementation of page details uh, i think there is some typo not there not a typo page details okay i have to like fix this code as well so this will be like constant page await pages dot find one I, id uh, since i am going to use we are using uh, object id from mongo so i'm just going to use hyphen underscore id and page id hopefully it should work and then after this uh, i will return page let me just check uh, we are getting a proper response or not let me just check the logs we do not have any content right now we have a uh, we didn't save any content that's why we are not seeing any response so let move and uh, try i'm going to add the uh, configuration uh, set code to save the content on the server so let me just close all the function and now i'm going to open page service and in save page content i'm just going to write the code const and i should write page and this will be a pages dot find one and update uh, and the query will be this first id slash page id and the second parameter is what we are going to save so we are going to save content in this page content Page content. I'm going to just use a wait here. Return page. Okay, in page and content. Say page content. It is a body. Yes, all of all thing, all everything is connected. So let me just try to check whether uh, we are sending a request on the server or not. first second third yes so now you can see we are going uh, we have sent a post request on the server with uh, request body this one my assets my components my css my html my style so this my is coming because of the configuration the configuration we have used my here in the id okay so let me just refresh the page so that i can see we are getting the uh, response when we refresh the page because it must be saved on in the database next page uh, let me try to go to home page home So okay, so you can see we have 
content for our database uh, one thing is important uh, to do like uh, people are going to remember like how many steps they have done so we should have some save button here which we can use to save to send the request on the server okay so in the next video i will try to uh, give you the how we can achieve the, the, the same thing thanks for watching see you in the next video